Our next critical question about the trial of Jesus centers on this passage and this objection. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, that verse is a bunch of bull. The Jews executed a lot of people without permission from the Romans. All right, first of all, are you willing to admit that some of those executions like the stoning of Stephen may have been illegal? You know, like Old West lynchings. Yeah, I suppose so, but that doesn't cover all of them. Think so, huh? Well, let's find out. It's pretty much accepted that Rome didn't grant capital power to its subject states like Judea. To argue otherwise, critics come up with what they think are demonstrative exceptions. The woman caught in adultery is one such exception, and we discussed her example in this vid. Yeah, well, there's a bunch more I can talk about, too, and none of the reasons you'd give for her would apply. How about them apples? Eh, yeah, we'll see if they're sweet or sour. What's your first example? The first is an easy one. Look at John the Baptist. Herod Antipas sure didn't need Rome's permission to execute him. Well, yes he did, and he already had it. Herod Antipas was the Tetrarch of Galilee, and served as the representative of the Roman Empire. That meant he was vested with its capital power. But Jesus was executed in Judea, which was under a procurator. So, nice try. What's your next one? Okay, you also have this one, the warning in the temple court. Any Gentile caught in there was allowed to be executed by the Jews on the spot, even if they were a Roman citizen. What about that? Now, what about it? The temple court warning was an exception to the norm, and it was sanctioned by Rome in line with the Roman custom of granting provincial subjects as much freedom as possible in practicing their religion. So that's not really a case of doing an execution without Rome's permission. What's next? This one comes right from the New Testament. Paul says he harassed Christians to their deaths. Sure sounds like he had the power. Sort of like He-Man, huh? Oh, no, not really. The case of Paul does seem a bit unusual, but there's a clue to what probably happened in the timing. Paul was active in the period of the mid-30s of the first century. For a short period in there, between 36 and 37 AD, the province of Judea was without a Roman procurator. In that time, you can be sure zealots like Paul figured they might be able to slide by with a little of their own frontier justice. So that's another one. Any more? Yeah, this one will really hit you. In John's Gospel, Pilate tells the Jews to go and execute Jesus themselves. That don't make sense unless they really could do that. Well, yes it does, but that gets into the issue of what Pilate was trying to accomplish. Which is a topic we'll cover... Next time! You just had to do that, didn't you?